That's the Fox way. Do something sick, get bodied. It looks like we're going to have Tribe Snoo. This will be a fun one. I can't tell. Uh, do you know where this is in bracket? This is Loser's Quarters, correct? So this is Loser's Quarters. Uh, the other side of Loser's Quarters must be then Wonder versus Scrad? Brad. Did Brad beat Scrad? Okay. Okay, Scrat, can only you, can only I hear you? Okay, Funk Doctor uh, coming in with the knowledge. Uh, if you don't, if you're not looking at the bracket, um, Snoo beat Scrad to get to here. Uh, the other side is, as I said, Wonder versus Brad. So Wonder dropping down to fight yet another Falco. But uh, we're looking at a Falco Marth set. This is historically a good matchup for Snoo Snoo. Um, he's really good at power shielding. He has an explosive punish game. He's really good at recovering, and Falco's not as good at edge guarding as Fox is, like not by a landslide. And uh, in addition, Snoo's really good at this. <laughs> Ooh, good jump out. I really respect that from Tribe being like, I don't have to land, and if I don't have to land, I don't have to just auto die. Ooh. I gotta say I love that. That's like one of my favorite things to do as Marth. Tipper fair, tipper up air. It's, it's actually so exploitative against characters uh, with poor f forward range out of shield. Because even if they shield both of them, the low up air on the front of a shield can't get really punished. Probably did not mean to dash attack like that. I mean, definitely didn't. Good thing Tribe was low enough to the ground there that that jab did not tip her or send him off. Snoo probably going to be using jab a lot more at this percent because wave dash in double jab could just straight combo into itself and send off. Ooh. I respect Snoo trying to sort of uh, very ambitiously just walk in and take some space, but uh, good tech chase. Put himself in a position where he probably could have just up tilted if he teched in or teched in place. Um, okay, got another good tech chase here. Mm. Defi definitely a good option, a good recovery, uh, a good tech option by Tribe. Sort of like the, the really obvious, like, are you actually reacting or are you just reacting to the rolls? And most of the time, for human beings, the answer is, I'm just reacting to the rolls and hoping you don't tech in place. Unfortunately, Falco's reversals in this matchup are not that strong because of the, the poor range of his shine relative to the great range of Marth's aerials and grab and everything which allows him to sort of stand out of the range of most of Falco's effective wake-up options and pressure him for free anyway. Wow, Snoo. Snoo's sort of kicking himself. If this leads to more damage, he's really going to be kicking himself. Oh, good, good discipline by Tribe, but even better discipline by Snoo. Tribe was waiting for that shield to whittle down, tried to poke. Uh, Snoo recognized that he was in a bad position and did not do anything to press or try to play that position. He said, I'll go back to center and I'll wait. Yeah, that's going to be it. Snoo with that double jump fair. Uh, definitely the Falco killer. Also drop down side B. I think drop down side B has some DI up options to get around it. Snoo sort of drifting out of center stage, just trying to hold it. He looks moderately confident in it. Oh, he roll. I don't. I doubt he meant to roll in there. He's probably trying to play this a lot. Yeah. What, what does he get off this? Misses his tech chase. I wonder if that was meant to be a pivot grab, not a pivot fair. Maybe if Tribe had nared, that would have sent Snoo off stage. Oh, and that tip. Is that tip going to be it? <gasps> Snoo misplays his advantage there. Has to settle for one aerial. Great slide off. Another F smash. And reads the, reads the angle to edge. I don't think that the angle up would have actually saved him regardless because he probably could have just down tilt F smashed and uh, that would be the way of the world. It looks like I may be joined by a super secret co-commentator. Um, we're going to Dreamland. Uh, oh yeah, solid counter pick by Tribe. Definitely, I mean, no real questions here. Farthest away from the edge at all times. Most range, high top plat. And uh, speaking of hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm joined by Flinchy. What's up, homies? Now newly sponsored by Brainless. Shout out to Brainless. Oh, power shield grab. The classic. Good tech chase. 
That's an uncomfortable percent. I, I think if if Snoo had known what percent, a deep good. double fair, but good DI. Yo, he saw a list dash? Yeah, oh, Matt. I, I would say Max Galint, but he just admitted he's never seen Galint higher than 11. So <laughs> I've sort of got too much of an inside scoop. Oh, oh no. yeah, it's it. That's a dunk. It's like the weakest little dunk I've ever seen in my life. Oh, calls the roll in and waits out the escape option. Oh, you yeah, hate, those. yeah, hate to see that kind of thing. You hate Hello? to. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, uh, all right. Snoodle drop those. To be honest, kind of his thing. Yeah, definitely. It should be every Marth's thing. If you're a Marth and you're like, eh, the gimps aren't my thing. It's like, eh, <laughs> all right, fair are enough. Are you a Marth? Oh, the note tech slide off land back on stage. Busted. Oh, nice power shield. Definitely. That's like one of the most terrifying situations. Must be for a Falco. Yeah. Having a Marth power shield your laser from the corner. Yeah, once he's up in your face and he gets a power shield, it's the yeah. worst. Snoo sort of putting himself on the platforms a little bit too much. Definitely not where Marth thrives. And uh, tried with a bit of, I think that was just a mix up of whether he was going to hold ledge or not. And Snoo tried to aggressively up uh, That's actually Snoo's recovery, like MO, is aggressive recoveries. Way more than the, the super delays. So neutral is literally oh. try and backs up, uh, shoots a few lasers. Oh wow! Snoo adjusts to the, to the lasers, gets a power shield, and wins neutral. Yeah. I mean, Tribe is deeply, heavily gonna profit off of the fact that he did not die when he should have. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> this is like a gift and a half right now. If he gets his stock, nice, wow, nice. could swing the. That's like the kind of thing that could swing the entire set. Yeah, he, he needs he needs to avoid invincibility a little better. Yeah. Uh, but he's alive. Get this extra credit. Nice. Come on, shine grab. Yeah, I think he just really wanted to turn that into a hard opening. But when you're at high percent like that, you take every bit of percent. And if you up throw Marth there, you're probably going to get something off of it. You think he got the read there? I think he got the read. Yeah. And he just <laughs> Definitely completely got the read. missed. Oh, Snooey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's how it works. That's the UDI'd properly, but it's not really a mix up. <laughs> It's only it's a mix-up of whether I get to be sick or not. <laughs> Big facts, actually. Oh, no jump. Uh, Should have probably nared or something. Yeah, yeah. something just throw him back out. Yeah. Make him panic again. Nice ledge dash. Insta Instead, Tribe was the one who panicked. This is really scary for Tribe. You hate to you hate to say that. Uh, okay. What he jumped into it? Yeah, I think Snoo is probably uh, trying to f thought maybe he would just grab the edge off of that triple side B. Okay. Just one of those. Scare you off with this hitbox and then float drift to edge, and then he was panicked as soon as he went past. Because I don't see why that jump would have. He didn't even jump fair or anything. Yeah, no. Yeah. But, uh. FD! Classic, classic. counterpick, yeah. So on this stage, I feel like like you probably you definitely would know better than me. Like, what are you what are you looking for in neutral? Like, uh, the first check I usually do, I shoot a few lasers. Is the Marth good at power shielding? And that's an F in the chat. Yeah, <laughs> big F. Oh no. Uh, can he power shield or not? And if he can, now it's my it's up to me to dash dance and mix him up. Yeah. I dash dance until he crouches. Shoot a few empties. Oh yeah, the empty laser is actually such a potent mix up in this matchup. Is there? Make some shields for no reason. Yeah. And then you just you can just make them feel so dumb if you just empty laser run up like shine grab That's empty amazing. laser run up shine dare retreating like they don't even know like what's happening when their shield just isn't all all of a sudden an advantage. Yeah, and once you make you make Marth shield, the world's yours. Yeah, and and even worse than that for Marth is that usually if he's trying to power shield, he's gonna let go of shield immediately. So now you've caught him drop shielding in front of you. Okay. Oh, this is. Uh, yeah. Oh. oh! I like that dare. I probably would have preferred an up tilt, maybe? Maybe the F smash? Is that the F smash percent? To be percent? honest, it was an awkward percent. Uh, yeah. A lot of things could have happened, but I'm not sure myself. I feel like that's a percent where Mango might have, like, da downward angled F tilted or down smashed off that dare. Yeah, I can see a down smash happening. Yeah. Uh, do you think the down smash is a check for whether he can sweep, sweep spot the ledge? He I don't know. Slide off. I think he might not have just been able to get it. Okay. Because he, he was floating down toward the edge from the hit stun of the of the dare. It would have been risky. Oh, no. <laughs> and that's a raw. Let's go Falco forward smash. <laughs> raw F smash. Oh, I hate. <laughs> it works out Grab super line. well. Uh, never mind. Oh, gets Sakurai, Sakurai angled, and okay. Snoo gets. I. I like to call that the DZ classic. Up throw, down air. <laughs> 
<laughs> As he smirks at me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, gets the up throw Nair to send back off stage. Gonna probably down tilt. Yeah, not gonna cover that uh, good angle. So dang. Should have double jab there, and he's gonna pay the price. Oh, same for situation. It. Oh. Same situation. Weird percent. He goes for the dare. You could probably just dare down tilt there. Mm. If he DI's in front of you like that. I'd probably ledge that shine, to be honest. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. But yep. if you get the dare, and they DI such that the shine's not gonna hit. Oh, I've, I've yeah. seen Mango talk about how you should, if they if, if they DI and the shine's not gonna hit, you just have to down tilt or up tilt, and like it's super good. Okay. But yeah, that's also that. a tough reaction. You have to sort of know that that's gonna, what's gonna happen. But I guess it would cover yeah. even the DI's that shine would hit. So if you're just like aware that it's an awkward percent where your next Where you shine, won that much, and they yeah. should be the uh, smash DI, you give yeah. them the credit for it. Especially a player of uh, Snoo's defensive caliber in terms of his like, uh, Combo defense, his power shields, like you have to sort of. Oh! Mm, back on. This is so. This could completely reverse right now because he didn't go for that dare! This is fine. Oh, okay, ledge okay. dash, always. Nice. Another great ledge dash, but immediately pushes full oh, center. Over. Yeah. That was, that was pretty clean. Yeah, no way. So I like what Tribe did. Uh, he backed up a bit, shot the lasers, made uh, the Marf crouch and shield, try to, you know, get the power shields. But then he did it way too long. Uh, Snoo turned the wheel and said to go into power shield mode and then approached. <laughs> yeah. That's really it. Snoo starting off with uh, that Ken vs. PC Chris counter. <laughs> Ay. That was worrisome. Omar that, comes in says, that's sick. <laughs> yeah. That dare to put uh, put himself in the corner behind Marth was very scary. Thankfully, it was in a, it w he put himself in the corner in the best position possible for to be in the corner behind Marth shielding. But still scary to do that. Most well, definitely still scary. Uh, in that situation, Snooze known to just dare at a shield. Yeah, and you can also back air at a shield, and that's like a. New, uh, if, you, if I mean, a lot of I've seen, actually seen Ginger talk about how he thinks back air at a shield is actually like an, a very strong option for, Marth, for, right? for, for as Marth versus okay. Falco. It kind of scoops you. Yeah, and and the tip the tip hit of it is so strong actually. All right, what's he gonna get off this Ooh, tech nice case? slide off. That's actually so difficult to get. I feel like that depends on what hitbox of the up tilt hits you, right? As Snoo, tank laser, up airs. Obviously trying to SDI the laser up. Oh, he missed the follow up there. So has a stage advantage? Uh, I hate that that up tilt shield poked, but here we are. Okay, there's a grab finally, yeah. nice. Gets a shine off it, gets a lot of position off it, gonna net more hits off it. Please don't go out there. Uh, I was expecting a forward tilt uh, from Falco. Oh, like stay, hold your ground and forward tilt when yeah. he tries to, yeah. Up tilt there, maybe? Uh, I would just hold shield. All right, that's fair. He has all the advantage right now. He can kind of let Marth mess up a little. Gets his jump back. Snoo probably did not realize Oh, nice. There. He had a jump? He landed on the plat before he got uh, hit by that up tilt. I missed that's, that. That's what I said, yeah. I was like, that's a sneaky, that's one of those sneaky jumps. That's like when you DI, when you land on stage with your up as Fox and then immediately properly DI the F smash and everyone's like, <laughs> oh, okay, I sent him back off. And then you get to jump again. You get the mix up. Yeah. It's the mango. Oh, come on, get it. Punch oh, those. get that. I've been trying to. I, I've, I've, I've said this to Tribal a few times, and I wonder if, how you feel about it, but I think he just misses a lot of these dares that are definitely guaranteed if he's just willing to drift off stage dare. It depends on the setup, but you're definitely right. Uh, he, a lot of the times. And just net there off of random things. It's just I think he's just scared of like throwing a yeah. stock. But I mean in this at this in this position you probably don't have to, but like, you know, maybe you do he have can, to now. He can afford it. Um He can afford giving up a follow up that might be ooh, scary. Weak. The weakest yeah. there. Could have lead could have led to something maybe, but it looked like Snoo was actually just able to get a fair out. Probably had to shield. Get that weak there and shield on the platform and then what's Marth gonna do besides get shield drop shot? Besides yeah. That's when you check them if they panic. Yeah. They're probably always going to falling fair. Yeah. Or like falling wave land, get shield drop shined anyway. You would hope at least. Yeah, yeah. Nice. There's a grab again. Imagine just empty land grab. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Have him in the corner. Oh, come on. Snoo was like one iteration behind Tribe's decision to roll in. So right there, he grabbed ledge. Uh, I wanted to see... Oh, nice. Nice pressure. I wanted to see the Mango uh, double jump off ledge, like, fade back into regrab. Uh, oh. North Mango does that a lot. The, it's like a bait where you, you look like you're grabbing edge, then you delay your edge grab. It's basically like avoiding the... The, you, you you scare them into drifting slightly further away with their recovery. Yeah. And you're baiting them by not having to force yourself to refresh later. Because Basically. You, you sort of 
you sort of like uh, get away with a. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. That's scary. Uh, you're definitely right, and uh, you also avoid the upbeat hitbox on stage since you're behind it. Right. That's the biggest thing. You don't get clipped. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about now. Okay, that makes sense. It's like the the mango regrab. Yeah. No weak. Nice shield. Probably. Sh oh, we mean he's making it work. Ah, uh, bear. There? Yeah, I was definitely thinking bear, just to keep him off, you know. A few of these like move choices in his combos and Tribe would be a lot scarier in this matchup because I don't feel like he's... I, I feel like he's meshing all his combo or moves together instead of taking it step by step, like I, realizing the situation. I actually agree with that. I think he does a similar thing versus Fox, at least when I play him, where he sort of is like trying to like hit as fast as possible, as fast as possible, and isn't really... I don't see him air out his hit stun a lot. And versus Marth, I think that's so important because his escape options are so bad. Yeah, like right there. He landed... Yeah. He uh, he dared Marth uh, text on the platform. And he didn't like wait for the tech or anything. He just wait to the next thing immediately. Yeah, these are some... This is some scary uh, spots to be playing uh, no in. Jump. Gonna live? No. Who am I kidding? Could have upbeat straight to the edge and tech that. That would sick, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. But you're the, you're the, only, you're the only bird who does the, the me side B, tech side Bs. You gotta. You gotta survive. You definitely gotta survive. Eh, I respect that. You, uh, refreshing there, he probably would have snagged the ledge perfectly Ooh, anyway. Jumping over the laser. Yeah, Snoo... It's Snoo not consistent, not. but it's nice to do, you know? When you jump over the laser when they power shield it. Wow, wow. Snoo is... Let's go. Yeah, ta Snoo took complete advantage of three... Delay options and neutrals. Tribe just tried to get a zone like laser, aerial, laser out, and Snoo read all three. <laughs> yeah, nice panicking. Yep. Yeah. Roll in. And Snoo is playing very confidently in the center of the stage. Ooh, okay, uh, I like that jab. Yeah. I, scary jab. Definitely, I mean, if can always be crouch canceled. Well, you know what? Oh, ah, I, I, okay. I, was, I was so terrified because of the way that dare hit. That was oh, a downer. <laughs> yeah, that was a downer. I like nice that. Nice weight. Yeah, definitely. I wouldn't have even been... I wasn't even thinking that Snoo could tech there. And Tribe, like, knew all too well. Taking the lead in this game five. Oh, Snoo. That one's affecting Snoo. Yeah. The last two have affected Snoo. Because I think he probably... I think he felt like he took control back and lost control again. That, and that sort of can make it feel hopeless, like, this late in the game five. Yeah. When you're like, all right, this is my game to win. And then you lose the lead again. Now you're in a really uh, tournament stock, actually. Uh, Terrifying there off the off the stage. Right, let's go, Snoo. Snoo got all the positioning. Yeah. Oh, he reads the panic just a little bit too late. I like the damage of that double hit fair. Uh, a little higher. Yeah. A good, really good height to to get around Marth. Really good uh, usage of Randall. Um. <laughs> do it. Oh, I'm so <laughs> he, he, I feel like closing out the stuff. There's like a beast within Tribe, a dare monster waiting to be unleashed. <laughs> and he, he just, he wants to let it out. Something's holding it back. Okay, I don't know how that dare hit, but this Snoo might be it right now. This definitely could be it. Oh, this is actually really scary. Snoo gets one read, and then it's essentially even. Ooh, oh my god, Randall. this game! This game Randall, sucks! Why? <laughs> That's brutal. Randall definitely picking sides here. Definitely gate. 